going everybody welcome back to another ninja pvp guide uh, where we're gonna basically be explaining the combos for ninja um, now if, if you already seen my previous ninja pvp guide this was like the first or like first few days of ninja release and we managed to get the diamond pretty easily and we were really close to crystal um, so I feel like I could have added a bit more information and so this is what this video is for. We're going to be adding um, basically all the extra new combos that you can do on Ninja uh, as well as more more tips that I can give you and showcasing a PvP match where uh, I'm going to basically talk over what I'm doing and give you little brief hints um, in where you can really make full use of your ninja and capitalize on a lot of situations. The first thing I'm going to do here in this video is firstly we're going to be talking about the combos, alright? Combos without Satan and combos with Satan. And we're also going to be talking about combos where you basically uh, contest and what ninjutsu sh you should be using during contest. So I'll explain the first combos and I'll explain my reasonings, okay? Just remember one thing. Bunshin is 30 second cooldown and a prox assassinate. Uh, it makes assassinate hit twice as well as pretty much every other, um, like your shuriken as well. Uh, just not your ninjutsus obviously. So I'm going to be showcasing a lot of this here. So the first combo goes like this, okay? Bunshin, Fuma shuriken, blink, assassinate, mug, mudra. Ran Ryu, Madra, Raiju, Shuriken, Raiju, and Raiju, and sorry, Shuriken, and then you can just spam DCDs and Fuma Shuriken when they get out of range or anything like that. That second Raiju I did there, by the way, um, it can be used to go on a different target. It doesn't have to be on the same target. Um, the reason we don't just spam Raiju. Uh, twice in a row there is because you can't stun the same target twice uh, within a brief amount of seconds. That's how we use it a little bit later. Um, here is another combo that's very similar. So here's how it goes. You press Bunshin, Fuma Shuriken, Blink, Assassinate, Mug. Now Raiju here, and then Yosha Ran Ryu, into Fuma Shuriken, into Fuma Shuriken, into Raiju, into Fuma Shuriken. Now, you don't have to use Fuma Shuriken twice there, you could use it once and then ride you on someone else. Um, but the Fuma Shurikens under Bunshin are really good. Um, they actually do pretty decent damage. 6k potency and with uh, with Bunshin, you're doing a lot of damage with that one. So, uh, don't underestimate Fuma Shuriken, They're, it's really, really good. Um, whereas, like with GCDs, you need to build them up. 1, 2, and then 3. 1, 2, and then 3. With Fuma Shuriken, is like instantaneous burst damage. Um, where you're looking for a one shot. Okay, so those are two combos right here. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you guys the death combo. The death combo is uh, includes Satan, and it also means that they have no mana, they have no recuperate, but they don't have the mana to cast recuperate to heal themselves, and they don't have guard. And even if they do have guard, it wouldn't matter because you're gonna one shot them so hard. It's a pretty much surprise attack that they, even if they pop guard below 50% health, um, you can pop Satan and they just pretty much insta kill them. Um, the whole idea of this this combo here is to drop them below 50% as fast as possible and immediately use your Satan. And they would be able to survive it uh, if they have if they get healed, if, if their LB saves them, or if you get crowd controlled. And crowd control, of course, meaning uh, if you get stunned, slept, CC, etc., etc., uh, just in general. Um, or if they pick a health potion. So there are a lot of factors, so don't take this as like, oh, this is the only way I'm going to be able to one-shot people. Uh, just think of it as a one-shot where you know you're going to be able to kill them 100%. Um, or make an accurate judgment that you're going to kill them 100%, okay? So here's how it goes, okay? You pop Bunshin first. All right, so here it goes. Bunshin, Puma Shuriken, Blink in, Assassinate Mug, Kyosho Ryu, 
Take on. This will do the most amount of burst damage in the shortest amount of seconds possible. And uh, the reason uh, we cast Shuriken in the beginning, by the way, is to drop their healths uh, initially. So that when we blink in, we immediately proc not only the two from the Shurikens, but after we blink, we also proc the two Assassinates into Hyosho Ran Ryu, which is your highest single target uh, Mudra, into Satan, which will just delete the rest of their missing health bar, whichever, however much is left at that point. Because goodness, they oh, they get one shot. They do. They get the big one shots. Now, this isn't obviously going to happen every time, right? Sometimes they'll have enough mana, and sometimes they're not going to be uh, that easy to kill. So, what, what else would you do in that situation when you have Satan? I'll show you the combo for that now. Bunch of former Shuriken, Shikuchi, Assassinate Mug, Raiju, Yosharan Ryu, Shuriken, Raiju. Shuriken Satan. Now you only cast that Shuriken there if you know that they have um, above 50% health. If they don't have above 50% health by that point, you want to just pop Satan and just insta kill them. Um, so the Shurikens are optional there. Um, it really depends how much health they have left because once you see them drop under 50% health, you want to go for the Satan because you're going to be able to one-shot them when they're below 50% health with the LB. So keep this in mind. Now I'm going to show you contesting the point. Um, as a ninja, by the way, just so you know, uh, your job as a ninja is to look for picks. You look for targets, you one-shot them. Your job as a ninja isn't to contest the objective. And you may think, well, if we don't contest the objective, you know, you're going to lose. Your team should do that, not you. Your job is to stay hidden, stay behind walls, and look for picks. You're a ninja. Your job is to kill, all right? You're not a carry the ship over to the from point A to point B. That's the tank's job or the other DPS job or the healer's job. As a ninja, your job is to hide because you need to make use of Shikuchi. If you're in combat and you're on the point constantly the whole fight, you're never going to be able to make use of Shikuchi's stealth because it will be immediately broken. The whole idea is not just to be out of vision so you don't get targeted because you can't get hit behind walls, for example. So you can use terrain to your advantage. Um, using terrain to your advantage not only doesn't let you get targeted, they can't click you through the wall. Um, and they can probably kick you, uh, click you through the party list, but if you're out of vision, uh, your name would be grayed out. So they can't click it like this. See how I'm clicking my name right now? Because I'm in my own vision, of course I can click myself. But if you're out of range, if you're not uh, visible, they can't click you in the party list, making you a lot harder to target and shut down. Because um, they'd be clicking on the other people that they can actually click on. So being out of vision lets you see what's going on. So you can go in and make the play, right? However, there are some situations where you have to contest the point or you're literally going to lose. So I'm going to show you what you need to do during those situations because they are going to happen. Um, Duton is your best friend. You slap Duton on the point and all you're doing is GCDs and Mug primary targets. You're going to be contesting the point, doing damage every time you do GC. It's going to do that uh, effect with the heavy and it's really, really good. And you're also... As, as you're putting Dutons, you're also going to be using Hutan, which will give yourself Barrier. And this Barrier is basically going to help you last longer on the objective, right? Not only is it going to help you last longer on the objective, but you're also moving faster. Um, and then obviously you have Goka Makiaku, which is an AoE fire dot, and basically it's ticking constantly. So that with Duton is a lot of damage over time. So you want to prioritize these two mudras uh, in position in places where you're going to be uh, casting. Um, oh, sorry, in, in situations where you're going to have to contest. So having these two dots are good. Hutan is very good in situation where you need to escape from people or you're just getting hardcore focused. So you're going to press Hutan. Look how fast you are. You're so fast. All right, they're going to be they're going to be chasing you. Um, they're going hard on you and. Just remember to always have your sprint on uh, every time you're out of combat because it doesn't just run out. It constantly keeps you going. So 
you're just really, really, really fast. Even with Hutan, you're already so fast. So, remember that you can't really stack movement speed. It's like Peloton, for example, Peloton uh, ranged uh, DPS speed buff. It can't be like multiplied with another speed buff. So just remember that you you're not you you can't just sprint in Hutan and just have like super Ferrari speed. Okay, <laughs> but I'd be crazy. But yeah. So that's pretty much all the death combos. Remember that Satan has very good range, and if you're ever in a situation where you're not sure if you're in range of a target, just look over at your hotbar and you'll see an X mark at the very bottom left corner. This will tell you like, oh, I'm not in range of Satan, so I can't kill them. But if you get closer, you'll see here now you have Satan. It's really, really nice. Look at that. Remember that your Fuma Shuriken has much higher range than your Satan. Uh, meaning that you could prep a kill potentially and then go in for the kill so like from here for example if I see like this person is already half health I can be certain by triggering my Fuma Shuriken and then using Satan this way that if they happen to use recuper Recuperate while they're just above 50% health or just below 50% health and they use Recuperate your Satan you know, you could be in that situation where, oh, they healed just above 50% and now I can't kill them. Like, those situations do happen, by the way. So remember, it's always the safest thing to go for the full death combos. The death combos guarantee that your Satan is gonna kill them, and then you can jump from another target to another target. Another thing you can do, remember, as you're doing the rotation for the full combo, where you Fuma Shuriken, Shikuchi, Assassinate Mug, right? Raiju, Yosharan Ryu, Right? You can Fuma Shuriken and target someone else or get back on the objective if you need to do that. That Raiju there is very flexible. Since there's two charges of it, you don't have to necessarily just be on that one guy and burst him down. Let's say like he's not burstable and you can't kill him because he spammed healing. You can focus another target and stun someone else, giving them the inability to cast abilities. And this also makes you... Uh, in a better position if you need to go capture the point or touch the point or contest or whatever like that. So remember, Raiju, don't just spam it on one target if you feel like it's not, a, you know, it doesn't feel right. So that's pretty much the main combos that I can give you on Ninja. Now I'm going to dive into a PvP match and just kind of talk over um, what I'm doing and hopefully give you a, a bit more insight um, in general. Uh, with how Ninja is played in PvP. So I'm gonna queue us up right now, and let's go on a ranked match. Here we go. Doesn't matter here which uh, flank you take, left or right. You just take one, pick one. The right one helps you get behind them. The left one does the same, but here, like, it's even more behind them. So I like to take the right flanks for that reason. They're actually already just going in. They're already going in. I'm gonna focus the summoner. Alright, I'm on the summoner, mug, go for the Raiju. Let's do a bunch of damage, and Raiju! Okay, they burn all their mana, so... I have to wait for cooldowns now. Chikuchi away. Would make no sense for me to stay. Now that I have pretty much um, no mana, I have to use my elixir because it does regain mana. Nice, he's dead. I'm gonna focus Dark Knight. Mog gun. There's a lot you, he's dead. I'm gonna focus Dragoon here. Go for the ride you on him. Focus Warrior because he already guarded. You're dead. Just do as much damage as possible. Okay, someone is just gonna uh, touch the point. Gonna go on a summoner. There we go. You see how I disengage there to get the guaranteed stealth? I can Satan the Dark Knight. He's dead. Stun him. Go for the Satan on Samurai. Oh my god, he actually survived. I think I was stunned during that. 
Oh my god, it's so close. Ugh. That's, un that's unfortunate. Samurai has LB, we need to be careful. Samurai is using Elixir because he has no mana, so he wants to regain it. I'm just gonna move a little bit here. There's actually no point for me to Elixir here. I'll just play smart. Okay, we lost a lot of health. There's the Samurai LB, I was pretty much expecting that. It's not looking good for us, we should regroup, so I'm gonna pull back. Like, even if I kill someone here, like, I'm just gonna die in the process, because it's literally Dark Knight's on 1v4 right now. So I'll just wait. Oh my god. He healed just in time. <laughs> I tried to go for the kill, I saw him pop an elixir, but that's unfortunate. I tried really hard on that one. That is very unlucky. He's using elixir for some reason, but he doesn't have to. Because he already it already went off, but he didn't realize that, I guess. I gave him the shock of his life. Just poking the Dark Knight. I'm waiting on Bunshin, that's why I'm not going in right now. And... Dragoon's actually going for me right now? Okay. We outnumber them. There's only two of them alive. Summer has no mana. I see him on the map. He's my primary target because he doesn't have the mana. So I'm gonna full burst him. With a Sekton! And he's popped. He's completely deleted. Gonna ride your Dragoon. He's dead. Satan ran out, so I can't make use of it anymore. Stunned by Summoner. Okay, I need to wait. Okay, I'm popping Duton here, because we are in a contesting situation, and we need to capture this here. So I'm just going to do some GCDs in here. Dead. There we go. There's the Dragoon LV. Good I'm gonna mug Dragoon and then go for a heal shot on Ryu. Uh, I thought my mug went through. I'm gonna stun Dragoon here. He's shielded, he doesn't have enough mana. He's 4k mana, so he's uh, open for me for a future Satan. At least for now. I should focus him down. He picked up a health potion. Okay, we can't get, we can't leave the point here. They're gonna use all their LBs. They got Samurai LB as well. I can't hit the Samurai because he's gonna... Ooh. Oh, that's a dead, that's a dead Sam. Yep, he's dead. I almost have Satan. I'm literally so close. Yoshiran Ryu, Satan! Dead. He's dead. I was gonna Shikuchi and then immediately Satan, the warrior, to finish him off as well. And we got him. And there you go. There you go. Yeah, one quick note in mind, make sure that during, um, in PvP, you make sure you go on your HUD and select duty. And then you can move stuff around here, like the crystal and conflict map, the progress gauge bar, party list, etc, etc, etc. These really help um, move in this, especially the progress gauge bar. If, if the progress gauge bar is all the way on top of the screen, um... Fun fact, it actually blocks your Shikuchi, um, which is really bad because you can't max rate Shikuchi when the HUD is in the way and it won't actually register. So the way I do it is obviously to get max range Shikuchi, my mouse is all the way on top of the screen. And if that HUD gauge bar is on top of the screen, uh, you're not going to be able to Shikuchi at the maximum range possible. So this is something to keep in mind. All right. And that's pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, someone followed me while I was recording. Look at that. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video helped out. And uh, I'll catch you around. Peace out. Love you guys. Bye-bye.